Hello everybody, this video is going to be super cool. Believe me, I was planning to do a completely different video for today. But this week I went into the website of Adobe Firefly and I was playing with photos, with images. I was like, this is so cool. But of course I said, no, 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 this video has to be about a tutorial and show my friends about this website. Artificial intelligence is becoming so good. And the best of this website is that it's completely free. It's in a beta version, which makes it free for now. And you know what let's stop talking let's go to a computer and i will show you what i'm talking about okay everybody we're here in firefly.adobe.com this is the website that is driving me crazy i'm really like putting too much time in this website playing and playing around we have different options as you can see text to image generally field that is working as beta in the new photoshop then you have text effects then this generative recolor also that basically any image that you have is going to change the color and it's going to adapt to the colors very good we have 3d to image and extend image that are in exploration it says there so I, I assume that this is like it's been updated this one here extend image I think it is already in the beta version of the new Photoshop but we're gonna talk about these three on the top for now just remember that is a beta version so in the future it's gonna change for now it's free let's enjoy it let's go to text to image you're gonna see options here and they will help you with prompts a zebra here that looks like in a kind of like a living room or something so what you can do is just hover over the zebra over the picture and you can see what the person that did this put as prompt grand Edwardian chair zebra on the chair looking at the camera close-up formal background studio it's just crazy because it's actually a photo you know it is like a photo it's very realistic let's do something that it's gonna be almost impossible to make it realistic okay let's type here gorilla walking on the beach beach with sunglasses and a red scarf let's see what's gonna happen look at this it's so cool oh my gosh this is so cool this one looks like a like a gangster look at this i think this one is the one i like the best but well it says here square so we can actually change it to maybe white screen because we want it as a thumbnail just per se okay let's do that it's gonna generate it as you can see it says also here art which means it's gonna be like a piece of art it's gonna be like a drawing more than a picture let's choose this one you have also options here like styles and you see the popular here but you can look for more styles like color light in composition in composition for example you can see wide angle close up you can choose wide angle if you want the the gorilla to be a little farther from the camera you just choose it and then you have here the show similar if you press here of course you're gonna get more similar images similar to this one and then here generate the field that we're gonna check it out a little bit after this and then you have here these options the heart if you want to put to favorite or if you want to download it by the way this is the beta version so when you download it is gonna come with the logo It's gonna come to some credentials here in the corner I will suggest you that every time you like something to just rate it because it helps a lot the artificial intelligence to understand what you want and to get better and better so this is it and actually if you want to do it as a photo because remember it's art if we put photo then it's going to try to make it as a photo but it's very tough it's easier to get a zebra <laughs> as a picture than to get a gorilla with sunglasses and a scarf maybe if we take out the sunglasses it's gonna be easier to create the gorilla walking on the beach and we just put wearing a red scarf okay let's see let's see if it helps if it's easier to make it as a photo i still don't think so but you never know let's see what's gonna happen yeah, this one looks more realistic if we open it. It's a little bit more realistic because you can see here the hair. Now the sun here, you can see that yes, that's a picture. This is a picture. Now let's go back and let's talk about generative field that everybody now that it's in this website is basically spending more time here than anywhere else. Let's upload an image. That's my photo. Now here generative field is basically that. It's gonna generate something, whatever you decide to put something. For example, now let's choose the background in the bottom you can see background let's choose the background and as you can see it's very good very well done and let's put here for example Eiffel Tower Paris let's see what is gonna happen I think it's pretty cool it looks actually real let's see the next one it gives you options as you can see here you can put more 
so it's gonna give you more options. But I like the first one, I think the first one is the winner. Now, if you wanna erase something, for example, this here in the corner, you wanna erase that, you can put remove, and it's gonna tell you, do you want me to save your picture before removing? Yes, 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 I want that. And then I just wanna click here. It doesn't have to be perfect. There you go. And then you just put remove. You see, it works perfect. So I think it's okay. I was in Paris. Believe me, I really, I really, really went to Paris. <laughs> Now you put download, you know how it works. It's very simple. I really like it. Let's go back and we're gonna do now text effects. By the way, if you want more into detail, because this is not a tutorial in all of this, if you really want a tutorial in each of them into detail, let me know in the comments and I will do it, no problem. Okay, let's go to text effects. And here on the bar, you see two options. In enter text, we're gonna put Mario Tech. And then in describe, we can put photo camera and video cameras and we just click generate and let's see what's going to happen pretty cool huh it's really nice i think from these ones on the bottom i like the best the one in the middle so that's perfect i will leave it there now also you can come here where you have the text uh, effects fit i tried these ones i don't like them but it depends on what you're doing maybe it's going to go very good with that so try it and then in font you can put view all and then you can check all kinds of font and just check experiment and you're gonna like it. I like it like this. Here in color, you can change the color of the background, but I'm going to leave it like this because I wanna export this as a PNG file so that I can use it as a logo. You never know, maybe this is what you're gonna see in my YouTube banner now. Okay, so and then you just download it here and that's it, very simple. Please experiment, guys. Look how many things you have here to experiment. Come to this page, firefly.adobe.com, experiment, and tell me what you think. I'm telling you, if you check all the comments that I have in the channel, I answer all of them. Adobe announced that they're gonna put some tools in the website related to video, which is really, really cool. Now, I will ask you to leave me in the comments below. What do you think about this website and how are you using it? It's always good to share some ideas between each other. And now, until next week.